All right, so if you've been following along so far, uh, we've designed uh, some of the initial pages here, and we've learned a bunch of different things from components to constraints. Uh, and now I think we're ready to jump into our map page here. If we take a look at our sketch here, uh, we see that we have a little map with a save button down here and maybe a button to tell us where we're at and a search bar at the top. Uh, pretty straightforward, but I don't know about you. I'm not 100% sure how we'll get a map into our design. And so that's why we're going to talk about plugins in this lesson. Plugins in Figma are essentially there uh, to help automate your design and help you take your designs to the next level and make designs happen even faster. So to access plugins, if you're on the web app, you can go to the menu option here and then go to plugins. Uh, and from here, you'll see the list of installed plugins. Since we don't have any installed plugins, uh, you'll see here, it just says manage plugins. So we're gonna go ahead and click manage plugins. So from here, we'll see a bunch of featured plugins as well as uh, popular ones that are made by the community. And you can really use these to your advantage when you're designing your projects. Of course, these are not all the plugins here. Uh, you can go ahead and browse all of them by just going down here where it says uh, browse plugins. So as you can see, we have tons of plugins. Um, I'll go all the way up. I see Unsplash has a plugin. If you remember, a couple lessons ago when we added a background image into our login page, uh, Unsplash actually has a plugin in Figma. So instead of going to the Unsplash website, finding images, saving them and dragging them into your Figma files, um, the Unsplash plugin will just help you do the same thing, but just in one step. Um, there's, there's charts you can create using this plugin. There are some more icons. There's avatars. So if you're making an app with avatars you can go ahead and use this plugin this one's really cool here it's called google sheet sync and there's a really good chance that we'll explore it in a future section uh, what it does is that as the name might suggest is that it will sync your design with a google sheet so let's say you have a design with a list of different text you can actually sync that with google sheets and so as you change your google sheets that text will change within your designs how cool is that the list goes on and on and on. I would love to hear some of the useful plugins that you found, and there's just a lot to explore. So if you do want to send me a suggestion of a plugin that you're using, um, definitely go ahead and share that with us in the Q&A section or just send it to me by email. You can email me at helloclever at gmail.com. So I'll leave that here on the screen so you can go ahead and email me some cool plugins that you find. So at the very top here, you can also search for specific plugins. So search map. And then let's use this second one here and go ahead and install it. So this is just a little note to tell us that the plugin has been designed by a third party developer and not Figma themselves. Uh, so let's go ahead and just install the plugin. And there we go. Plugin installed. I can see it's installed over here. I can uninstall it if I don't want to use it anymore. If you want to learn more about what this plugin does and how to use it, you can go ahead and just click into here. So that's what we're going to do. And as you can see, it helps us make customized map blazing fast. Cool. Just going to scroll down here. You can apply Google Maps or Mapbox. So that's pretty cool. And it's telling us how to use it. Uh, select any layer, including rectangle, ellipse, or even a polygon and run Map Maker. Sounds pretty straightforward. So let's switch back to our design here. Let's go ahead and as it says, uh, create a rectangle and I want this rectangle to uh, take over the entire frame here. That looks good. Now let's go ahead and go to this option here and keep in mind in the desktop app, you can access that from plugins as well. But if you're on the web app, you can go here and do plugins. Now you should see map maker here. Go ahead and click on it. It might take some time to load. Once it does load, it will give you some options here. So you can input a custom address. Um, you can change the type of map that you want, uh, whether it's a road map, satellite, hybrid, etc. cetera. Um, the zoom level. So uh, I think all I'm gonna do is just maybe zoom in a little bit more into this map. Um, and then let's do make map. And there you have it. We have a map right inside of our designs. Pretty cool.